So we were, I had a production company and we went out to Los Angeles to shoot this uh, marketing video for one of our clients. And our cinematographer uh, rented some gear from a, a local guy. And it's this guy with long black hair. And, you know, he spoke kind of weird and it was very interesting to say the least. And, uh, and I noticed he had a set built and it was like this interior set. And I asked him, you know, do you, do you do other stuff here? And he's like, yeah, I shot a movie. And, and he told me about his movie called The Room and he pulled out a DVD and it just said the room on it and it had his face on it. And, and I, was, I didn't know what to make of it. And he's like, no, it's an uh, experimental or something. I don't remember how he described it, but it, it was odd because it was never really clear what he was trying to describe to me. I took the, you know, the DVD. I figured oh, I'll have to check it out at some point. And I, I just put it on my shelf at work. And one of my employees came to me and said, wait, Chad, why do you have this? I think it was unopened. It was a DVD of the room. And I said, oh, the, the guy that directed it gave it to me. And they're like, you met Tommy Wiseau? And I'm like, how do you know who he is? <laughs> and they're like, this is like a cult classic. Because this was a couple years later. But yeah, it was like, I don't know. So that was me, my time meeting Tommy Wiseau. And I can tell you, though, the movie, The Disaster Artist, was spot on on, like, how he acted and how he spoke. As a filmmaker so. yourself, what's your impression of The Room, the parts of it you saw? Um, oh, I think it's, it's, I, it, I, well, if I'm just being blunt, like, it's just the not, it's horrible. <laughs> <laughs> I felt like he sincerely wanted to make a good movie, and that at the end of the movie, then he's like, well, look, they're laughing, they like it, but they're kind of laughing at him, so you, and then he kind of, seems like he kind of rolled with it, Mm -hmm. But I still felt a little bit sorry for him because at the end of the day, he seemed like he was kind of the butt of the joke. Okay, and that's where I, I differed. I said, no, I think he just wanted to be famous. At which he succeeded at. And he succeeded, but not in the way he planned. But that's like a lot of successful businesses. You know, you, you set out to do it a certain way, and along the way it changes or you get thrown a curveball, but you keep going, and then there's some type of success. So does that make the success any less legitimate. Let me ask you this. Does anyone respect Tommy Wiseau as a filmmaker? Is he just a novelty to them? Well, a weirdo? No, I totally like to have him around. I totally respect him as a filmmaker. It's really hard to even get it done. So I, I respect He's his made, tenacity. He has made one more film than almost anyone else in the world. But a lot of people genuinely like the film because of what it is. They might not like it the way the original filmmaker yeah. intended, but is that... Isn't that every film? Yeah. Do you think everybody loves Star Wars the way George Lucas wanted them oh, to I, love I'm it? I'm sure. I mean, that's. I feel like that's a good thing. Right, right. I feel so, like George Lucas... So how's it any yeah. different? Other than the point that I do get that I appreciate <laughs> that you're saying is they're laughing at him, not with him. But I say it's irrelevant because that's his issue. And yeah. he doesn't seem to have issue with it. So why should we have issue if he doesn't? I agree with that. That's kind of my point. I agree with that.